Thank you. Rudy. Hi, Rudy Blair, Rudy Blair Entertainment Media. Yeah, yeah, you already know that. <laughs> Brother, you, a park wasn't good enough. You got to get another Juno Award. Uh, first, I have to say congratulations on this. What is it like not just to win this at this time in your stage of the career, but how does it feel being a mentor, too, because you've got two amazing gentlemen next to you, especially that young one over there who keeps growing taller and taller every time I see him, and of course, a past Juno winner himself. Um, I mean, I think that's what it's about. I mean, us, I, well, for me, doing reggae in Canada, there was a few people when I just got here that was doing it, and it was the people that you were easily access to, right? So for me, after I won my first Juno, I made it my point of duty that whenever I was going to come back to the Junos, I would always bring the people that I know will help the culture and the music. So I've, every time I've been nominated, it has always been with more people from the community and from the culture, right? And these are two of the best in the world, in my opinion. So that's why I do it. Reedy Blair Entertainment Media, ReedyBlairMedia.com. Um, Sean Jones is one of my closest friends. Okay. And um, one of the things that he's always had a problem with in stating in the interviews that we've done is he's been told R&B doesn't sell. R&B isn't heard on the radio. When you hear things like this um, from a veteran who's been doing this for years, and here you are breaking the glass yourself, do you feel that there is still that, that push or battle in getting not just respect for the music that you're doing, but getting it played and getting it heard in the places where other music is heard? Right. So I would say for, I've definitely noticed that it is a bit more difficult to break into the mainstream being an R&B artist. Um, for one, I'm actually like kind of okay with that, um, at least Th like this far into my career, but I also believe in like um, like artistry selves, like um, like true genuine artistry and a story selves, and so I'm just trying to be as genuine as I can to my story, um, and also I pull from many other genres as well to to try and break into that that mainstream um, world of music. Because, um, yeah, R&B, too, is very, it's, it's calm, it's relaxed, and a lot of people, when they're listening to the radio, aren't looking for that. It's, they want tempo and that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, my playlist is very all over the place. As much as I make R&B music, um, especially with the new stuff that I'm going to be working on, it's, uh, I've made it uh, a goal of mine to, to pull from these different influences to bring something that I can break through to the mainstream. Rudy Blair, Rudy Blair Entertainment Media. We've known each other for a long time. Yes, sir. I want to say first congratulations. Um, I've seen the progression that you've done over the years. But for yourself, though, what's been the joy in that progression in knowing that you've been able to help artists win awards and then here you are being presented with an award? Honestly, it's amazing. I don't really... Nobody goes in the studio to like let's win an award with this. Um, so, but like after all of those hours, it just feels amazing to get there. So, for my name to be up there, I'm, I've never planned for that to be honest. So it's just amazing.